Uh, Webinar CTV with Adam Hinchwood following a 4-1 defeat to Welling in the National League South. Adam, what were your thoughts on the game? Um, no, yeah, listen, you've got to give Welling full credit. Um, I think, you know, they fought and scrapped for their lives and probably deserved a little bit of luck that they got. Um, I think the keeper, first half, has had sort of one save to make, um, but he's, he's made a save there where he's gone with, with his top hand and another day that goes in um, and it's maybe a different game but yeah um, listen it's not the time to sort of um, have a go at the players at all I think they've been superb um, maybe just you know one too many injuries um, has cost us but still think we've got more than enough out there on the pitch and um, yeah the luck just didn't quite go with us I think we got back to 2-1 and they sort of threw their bodies cold mouth scrambled at not seen at this sort of level for, for a long time um, and you've probably got to put that away. Ollie Stark had a good chance, Danny Cashman had a good chance and you know on, on, in previous weeks we've probably been putting those chances away. Um, you know one that gets crossed for Ollie Pierce as well, there's three that I can remember um, when it's 2-1 so like full credit to players I thought we got into some great areas and just today we just didn't quite take them chances um, and then at the end left ourselves open. Um, where we're throwing every, everyone at it and um, you know left ourselves open on the counter attack got to show a bit more composure and a bit more discipline I think to, to stick to, to, to the game plan and stick to the positions that I've asked them to play in I think it goes a bit in self mode we've got three strikers and then Brad and Cash want to join them up there as well and then end up with five just in a straight line waiting for crosses to come in the box and it's never going to be how we're going to score a goal so yeah bags for us to learn from but you know like I say you've got to give credit to them I thought they deserved their bit of luck uh, throw their bodies on the line defended really resolutely and um, yeah we just couldn't quite come up with the answers. Do you think that was the main thing just not quite taking those chances I mean you mentioned the goalkeeper there he had some outstanding saves in the second half as well they threw themselves at everything today, they worked incredibly hard, but didn't feel like the performance on our end was particularly poor either. Um, no, I, I thought there was a couple of performances that were below par maybe. We didn't, I think first half we wasn't patient enough to switch the ball, um, which, you know, we've, we've come up against that kind of defensive line before, um, and that was the message. So, you know, for us as a, as a group not to learn from that um, is a bit worrying. We've got to keep switching it. Um, I think we're trying to ram the ball down the side that they've got all their numbers when it comes out and gets switched. And I think we've done that second half and caused them some good problems. I thought the, the change of shape when we put the two strikers on as well. Um, Brad was getting in, lots down the side there. Dylan was getting in, put some great balls in. And fortunately, like, you just got to score when, when, those, when those chances present themselves. And uh, yeah, we just weren't able to take them today. Um, and obviously, we move on to the home game Saturday uh, with uh, Braintree at home. Uh, what do you think was any positives to be taken from today going into Saturday? Um, no, there was still lots of positives. I thought, like in general, like we created lots of chances, didn't we? And like I say, big moments in the game. We worked the, the set piece routine brilliantly. Oli Starkey's, I think, at least got hit the target. Um, and then I think Cash has a chance. Like I say, I don't want to keep going over the chances. I thought we created some good chances. So, you know, there's, there's lots of positives there. But I think. The learning's got to be done that, um, you know, when it's 2-1, all the time it's 2-1, you're still in the game, but getting the third one's a sucker punch goal, and it comes from maybe a deep cross, and then everyone loading the box, and we're never, ever going to be a team that does that. And, you know, I haven't told the players to go on and do that. Um, told it to get it wide and work it down the pockets and cross it from a bit more dangerous areas. And, you know, like I say, showed our naivety there a couple of times. I think, um, you know, the worst thing that happened was them getting the player sent off, it felt like, um, because they just camped in and then we've got to stick to our shape. But yeah, let's, I'll, I'll learn a lot as well. Maybe changing from the three to the two and putting Jake Robertson wasn't uh, the right decision as well. So you know, I'd like to ask the players to learn. I'll learn as well from it. But um, like I say, all in all, in recent weeks, you know, we've, We've um, really been good and the players have really stepped up to the plate so it's not a time to criticism, it's a time to, to definitely learn and uh, try and be better come Saturday.